Over the Over the Over the top. Hi there everyone. Well, I'd like to wish you all happy holidays. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. I'd like to do that, but really it seems so pointless now that we know the world's going to end four days before Christmas. So I've adhered to the Mayan calendar, which predicts the end of time to occur on the 21st of December of this year. This year. I'm going to just start undecorating this Christmas tree. You know, this end of the world stuff is all nonsense, don't you, Bob? Um, I think it's pretty well proven, Tammy. The Mayan calendar predicts it, and the Mayans were never wrong. The Mayan long count calendar ends on December 21st, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. One calendar starts and another one ends, just like we do on January 1st, New Year's Day. And even the December 21st date might not be correct. The Mayans didn't account for leap year, among other things. Besides, what about the planet Nibiru? which is going to crash into the Earth December 21st. Both the Sumerians and the Mayans agreed on that. You know, I've visited old Mayan cities, and I've talked to people who used to be Mayans, and they assured me that it's all true. You mean the Sumerians. There is no evidence that there ever was such a planet, and it's certainly not headed for a collision with Earth this month. NASA officials gave a very good explanation of all of this just a few days ago. You can check it out on their website. NASA? You mean that outfit that supposedly put a man on the moon and all they have is this grainy film footage to prove it? Yeah, right. Like I'm going to believe them. Some people are so gullible and that's really over the top. Happy end of the world, everybody.